Hey, what's up? It's uh, Scott here from webgeek.net. And on today's video tutorial, this is part two of two. And this is how to make a website with Microsoft Office Word. But in this part, what we're going to do is upload your website that you made in Word up to the internet so other people, your friends, your family can all view your website that you have made. Now, the first step we want to do, just for the hell of it, is to open up Microsoft Office Word and open up your index.html. So let's go on and do that. Once you're in Office Word, click Start, Open, find your website folder, which should be on the desktop unless you saved it in My Documents. Open, up it, up, open it up and click index.html to open it. And you see here on the last uh, video that I got everything. Uh, that was here the last time now if you did not see my first video I suggest you go back and do that but if you already made a website in Word and saw it from somebody else's video tutorial and you didn't like their second one or whatever they didn't explain it um, this is the part where we're gonna be uploading it to the internet and you're fine you can just stay on this video alright once you have this open you wanna minimize it and you wanna open up your internet browser Once your internet browser is open, we want to go to Lime Domains. Domains.com. I think it is. Yeah, Lime Domains.com. And once you're here, what we're going to do is click sign up at the very top of the website. And we're going to type in some random information here. Well, I'm going to type in, oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, or just 1, 2, 3, 9, 0. Oh. <coughs> and then click continue. Sorry about my internet connection. It's a little bit flaky today, so just bear with me. All right, now that you're here, it's going to ask you to buy a domain. <clears throat> you don't have to do this, but if you want to buy a domain like .com, .net, .cc, and stuff like that, uh, this would be the place to do it. So pause the video now if you want to do that and pick out your domain. And then once you're done doing that, it's filling out all the credit card information and stuff, re play the video where you left off and then we're fine but if you don't want to do that just click no thanks and it brings you to this page and now this page is asking you if you want to get uh, special hosting you don't need special hosting for this so you just want to click no thanks your web space is not going to be a hundred gigabytes it's going to be less than 0.25 And then it's going to bring you to this page, the sign up page. So I'm going to pause the video right now and fill out this information. And um, I guess when I'm done filling it out and you're done filling it out, just we or play it where you left off. So I'm going to fill out this information right now. And then when I'm done, we'll continue the tutorial. So, yeah. All right. Since we finished doing that. Now that we're at this screen, um, it's gonna send you an e. It's gonna ask you to activate uh, once you sign up. You go to your email. Uh, it shouldn't be in your spam folder, but it is. It's the name of the uh, the subject of it. it. Should be sale sales. And you go open that. Click on the link, and it brings you to this page. Now, um, where you go, you don't go to home. You go to manage account, and it should say you're logged in as your username. So you go to manage account. Um, you go around looking for, let's see here, quite new to this, so, you go to FTP user management. Alright, so our FTP, well, is this. Now, what you're going to need is FileZilla, 
and that's a freeware program so you can download that anytime you want and I will have a link up in the description on how to get it unless you want to use any of your own FTP servers that you already have um, I suggest FileZilla is uh, the one to get because it's free easy and really good to use but that's all up to you alright so now what we're gonna do is we are going to copy this control C or right click whatever you prefer and bring it to FileZilla and paste in host then we're gonna get our username control C or right click and paste in username and then you type in your password and you click connect but for some reason I'm having trouble with mine so let's see here There we go. Nope, not it. So yeah, it's definitely you connect to this FTP right here. So may have copied it incorrectly. Let's see. There we go. That's why. Incorrect copy. All right. So we're gonna paste it into here and quick connect. Alright, well since I can't get it to connect right now, I'm going to pause my video, fix it, change my password, and see you in a second. Alright, there we go. What you had to do is change your password, because when you go in directly, it's a different password. So what you want to do is go in to FTP management, user management, change your password to your, your uh, username login password, same one, as your Lime Domains account. And then you go to FileZilla, open that up, put in the host as FTP, OO, whatever, um, your username, and then your password that you just set. And it opens up the directory. See, it should say, um, here comes the directory listing, uh, send OK, and then listing successful. And it should open up like this. Now what we're going to do is look in your local disk and try to find your desktop. scratch that go up here where it says local site and click double click desktop and hit enter well maybe that won't show up yeah there we go and once you hit enter it should show up and then look for your website folder double click that and then what you want to do is the two that say index.html and ytube.html or whatever you call them copy those highlight those don't copy them and then click upload and then they should upload to the site after they're done going through the check and the virus scan and whatnot. And see, they transfer between Microsoft Office Word HTML to your internet browser icon HTML, your basic hypertext markup language. Then you want to go back to here and see if it works. So what we're going to do is go where it says home directly, directory copy your website name which is oops123 whatever at limewebs.com copy that right click and copy uh, open up a new tab if you can in your browser and click enter and there you go that's how you upload your website to an FTP server and that's how you get your website up on the internet now mine's pretty basic um, webgeek.net won't be up it's not up right now, but it will be up in the next month or so when I'm done creating my HTML and CSS template from scratch. Um, this is a tutorial on basic stuff, so um, I will be putting a tutorial up on more ways to promote your website and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe, I put more videos out and secrets and how to make money and do all that stuff with your website. So. Um, Thanks for watching and goodbye.